Frazier makes another play and that'll bring in Xander Bogarts and uh, I'm hesitant to even try to Xander can you hear me yeah yeah all right thank you so much for joining us for joining Kenny Rosenthal just a moment ago and uh, what are you looking for as you dig in against Max Scherzer I'm going guys Xander what are you looking for against Scherzer uh, fastball man come on you know he's a good pitcher <laughs> let's see what he serves you on pitch number one 28 year old Xander Bogarts his third all-star game here it is oh! he was right 96 strike one oh, 96 96 Good take. One ball, one strike. The 1 1 from Scherzer. That is fouled right side and out of play. 1 and 2. All right, trying to get on base in front of Aaron Judge and extend this first inning. Let's go, Xander. Ball. Breaking ball stays up. Now one of the things in Colorado for pitchers is the hard thing is get a feel for your breaking ball. It doesn't break as much as it does in other ballparks, but you can get a little more velocity with the fastball. What's coming, Xander? What's coming? Fastball. Oh, he got gotcha. you. Not the fastball. <laughs> oh, that was filthy. Ball one. And standing at first base is the reigning National League MVP, Freddie Freeman, who can hear us in the booth. Hi, Freddie. Hey, guys. How are we doing? We're doing good. <laughs> You're way off the line over there. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, I, I kind of got to be with him up. If he hits oh. it down the right field line, then we got to give it to him, right? You can just salute it and watch yeah. it go into the corner. Yeah. Two balls, no strikes. I'm just glad I'm not playing third base. <laughs> That right now falls in the lap of Nolan Arenado. Yeah. He, he's got a vacuum over there, yeah. so I think we'll be okay. 2 0. Down oh, and away. Geez. If he gets the first base, he's going to make me look so short. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh. How tall are you? I'm about six, uh, just under 6'5, and I'm about to look really, really small here in a second. Yeah, Judge is 6'7. Yeah, six, seven. yeah it's, it's. I don't look up very often. He's going to potentially make me do it. Oh, oh how here about we that? go. Gosh here, darn it. Here comes that moment. Meanwhile, Corbin Burns, who went 58 strikeouts before he walked any hitters and has 15 on the year, walks Judge to lead off the inning. And you look short, Freddie. Right, do I, I told him I was going to look short if he got the first base, and here we are. Uh, a couple of guys with perfect teeth, though. I know that. Yeah, we do. You may want to warn them that you're mic'd. No, we're, uh, yeah, they, they want me to warn you that I'm two-way mic, so whatever you say. Oh, that'll be the last we hear from Aaron. Yeah, he's not going to say a word. Raphael Devers grounds one over the head of Freeman and right down the line. That's a fair ball. Judge will dig for third. They will hold him there on a double that bounces over Freeman for Devers. And if you want to add that into the regular season stats, that's 26 doubles already for Rafael Devers. Freddie's still mic'd over there. Yep. You haven't ripped that thing out of your ear now no. that you're down by one? No, it's okay. It's fun. I like listening to you guys talk. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to tweet about how we're biased against anybody, go ahead. Here's a foul out of play off to the right. Well, you guys don't like anybody's favorite team, right? That's right. Yeah. Somehow we've been able to uh, just strike everybody off the list. Yeah. Hey, uh, I heard your son, Charlie, got to meet Tatis Jr. Yeah, I think I'm dad of the year. Um, <laughs> I, that's what I'm going to name myself. He, That's all he wanted. And uh, Fernando, what an incredible person. So good with kids. Uh, incredible baseball player and an even better person. So made my son very, very happy. I think it might be... You know, when you get to start remembering things around five years old, so I think this might be Charlie's first memory, you know, that you remember, so I'm grateful for Fernando. Oh, we're looking at it right now. Yeah. It's 
from your Instagram, right? Yeah, it's special. It really was. I, he was so, like, just so over the moon. You know, that's, and that's, this is what it's all about for me now. I've been, I've been blessed to be here a few times, and now now I get to bring my son who's going to remember this kind of stuff. So it's, it's just, that's what it's all about. Big swing. Hey, Freddie, you're leading off. Yeah. In the bottom of the inning, do you know who you're going to be facing? I do not. Is Shohei coming back out? No. 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 Well, can you guys let me know? I'll t yeah, I'll tell you right now. Yeah. It looks like Kyle Gibson. Oh, okay, Texas Rangers. Yes. It's so hard in these games because you don't face these guys very often, you know? So I don't even know really what he throws. So just see we'll, it and hit it. Yeah, we'll find out together. <laughs> 2 2 pitch. Oh, double play. Might be. Double play. Tatis. Yep. Frazier. Got them both. All right, guys. Nice job by Corbin Burns to limit the damage. Only one on the board for the American League. Our friend Freddie yeah. leading it off. All right, guys. Fernando Tatis Jr. is wearing a mic and an earpiece out there. It's short. How you doing, Fernando? What up, boys? Chilling over here. Yeah, are you having any <laughs> fun? You've been smiling ever since. <laughs> you have to. You have to. When you're living the dream, you have to, Robert. <laughs> one ball, two strikes. Hey! You know, if he hits it to you, you're going to have to hurry it over to first base. Yeah, I know that. I know that. He's <laughs> a great player. How uh, how would you compare your arm to your dad's arm? Who had a better arm in their prime? Uh, he has like a 10. I have like a 9. Almost getting to a 10. Let's see when I turn 26. I get some man's strength. <laughs> Here's a 1-2 and a strikeout with Otani coming up. Fernando, I don't want the bat to go by and that out and have me not ask you about Otani. It's just got to amaze you what he's doing at this level. He has to amaze everybody, man. If you people ever wonder uh, if they want to see the legend of Babe Ruth, I mean, this guy is getting started on, on the same way, on the same path. So hopefully he can get, he can be healthy and he can keep it going. It's going to be great for the game. I mean, you've got, what, 28? He's got 33. <laughs> Yeah, no, come on. He has 26, I'm 22. No, oh, I'm talking oh about God. home runs, my <laughs> man. <laughs> Here's a swing and a miss. Yeah, so he's doing 33 home runs first half as a pitcher. Wow. Amazing. Just wow. Just wow. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., how, how good of friends are you two? That's my boy since childhood, man. We come up together. We're kind of living almost the same life. You know, we grew up without done the major leaguers and it's kind of be it's had been almost a safe ride for both of us yeah it's crazy I mean you guys are both 22 you both hit 28 <laughs> home runs and we understand that uh, Vlad Jr.'s grandmother's food is what's <laughs> keeping everybody healthy and yes. strong in the big leagues healthy and happy the 200th home run in all-star game history and you could have chopped that up into two that was a bomb. that went over your head uh, rather fast Fernando uh, that was so quick we should admire a little bit more it's the all-star game boy have fun 468 feet and a swing and a miss by Bogarts. Yeah, the slider cutter there stayed over the plate, and that is a recipe for disaster for pitchers. And Guerrero Jr. has been doing that all first half, so not a surprise. Wow. Here's the 0-1. There's one into left, the base hit. That pitch was up, and Bogarts is on. Let's go back to the home run by Vladimir Guerrero Jr. You see where they wanted the pitch, and that ball did not turn the corner, and both of them knew it. The catcher, the hitter, and the pitcher, unfortunately. You know, 
they got a stat now, right, Joe, that determines if a ball's going to leave every ballpark. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it would have left every ballpark. Yeah, I think so. Here's a pitch down to Aaron Judge. All right, Fernando, you're due up third in the bottom of the inning. You know, you know what you got to do. Yep. Got a slug. <laughs> Judge, who walked and scored his first time. Good pitch there. Ball, ball. Big man. We've got a few of these guys in the All-Star game who may not be known for their power, but can certainly get some base hits. <laughs> Tatis Jr. digs in. What are you looking for from Gibson? <laughs> fastball. Uh, what else going to look in the All-Star game? Yeah, fastball. You wanted that first pitch swinging and foul. Good pitch. Big hole on the right side of the infield, Fernando. But I don't. Are you looking at that at all, or you just want to launch? I can hit it opposite field home. Okay. Yeah. Good thought. Into right center field. Mullins to his left. Two down. Yo, man. I think you missed a couple pitches yeah, in this game. Yeah, my yeah. I know enough Spanish to know what malo means. I, you'd like to have that pitch back, wouldn't you? Fernando? Yes. Should have hit that out. <laughs> said I should have hit that out. Hey, buddy, thank you for the time. Thanks for doing this. What's, what's going on? That's a good sign for the second half, boy. There you go. <laughs> Hey, Fernando, thanks for doing that. And in time. Go. Yeah, we appreciate it. One of the bright stars of the game, obviously, and a smile just pasted on his face. Chris Bryant, how you doing out there in left field? Good. A little lonely out here. It, it is. That's a big left field, isn't it? It's a big field. I mean, compare that to Wrigley. You got a mile out to your left before you find your center fielder. I know. I'm just playing where the dead grass is. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a telltale sign. That's where everybody else. That's right. We're in Denver. Play deep and uh, be prepared to run yeah. or just turn and watch. Especially with this guy, too. Here is J.D. Martinez, who struck out his first time. Nothing in one. Well, I know you're sick of talking about it, but it is the All-Star game. and. Uh, you know, I, I know that 11 game losing streak was just crushing to the Cubs. And I, I guess we sit here now in the middle of July, not knowing where you're going to be at the end of July. How do you keep your concentration through all that? Honestly, I feel like moving around all these positions really helps me. I mean, it's a, it's a new thing every day and I'm just, you know, trying to focus on that day. And, you know, right now I still got the Cubs in my chest and I'm proud of that. And I'm, proud to play for such a unbelievable city and until they tell me I'm not I'll go out there and give it all I got. Nothing into the count Martinez fouls it out of play off to the right and I mean I can say it that's unselfish I mean you're willing to play anywhere and uh, I mean it adds to your resume but I feel like you feel comfortable really anywhere they put you defensively. <laughs> yeah I'm just tricking them I don't know <laughs> <laughs> just trying to be a kid again man this is. I was moving all over the field when I was 10, 11 years old, and I really enjoyed it. And, and it feels it feels just like it now. So, I mean, it's all the kids out there, man. Move around the field, play, play wherever, you know, you can play. And uh, the versatility is huge right now. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's paid off for you. And now uh, you're playing behind Peralta. This guy with the Brewers, you've seen enough of the Milwaukee Brewers. He's got great stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean, He's their third guy, and he's, you know, could be an ace of some some staffs. I mean, and watching him come up, too, he was, you know, out of the pen a lot, and now starting and doing what he's doing. He's not he's not fun at bat. You know, he's stepping right at you and throwing across his body with some really good spin in, in, a, in a fastball that plays plays up. It's a, you know, good staff that they got up there. Here's Matt Olson, who participated in the home run derby last night. Infield plays Olson to pull outfield. A little bit, but you've moved, Chris, maybe, what, three feet over to your left? Yeah. I mean, he might hit one this way. I don't know. I just hope he doesn't hit in the air because it is really hard to see right now. 
Sounds windy too with the mic. Is it windy down there or am I just hearing things? Yeah, you might be hearing things. Maybe you're just huffing and puffing out there in my field. <laughs> it's the long run from the dugout. I'm telling you. <laughs> Here's a 2-0. Oh, he was coming for you, Chris. Saw that one, all right. Two balls and a strike. Chris, uh, the baseball is a game of angles, and you've switched angles on both sides of the field. What's the toughest angle for you when you're playing a different position like this? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, they're both similar. I mean, it's just a matter of if there's more lefties or more righties in the lineup. Um, but center field, I, I love seeing the ball out there. It's a lot of fun to track down the ball. And, and um, probably my favorite position right now is going up center. I mean, that's remarkable. I, I remember talking to David Ross earlier in the year. He said, I got to get Chris back at third base just so he gets a game there and he feels comfortable again. <laughs> I know. I mean, I've been on him too, but, uh, you know, we've had wisdom come up and do some good things and some guys get hurt. And, you know, I'll, I'll be the glue that patches the holes. Well, I'll say this for you, my man. You've been a joy to watch as a Cub. I hope it continues, but if it doesn't, don't stop being a little kid, all right? That's right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Chris Bryant sends us to the seventh inning stretch. Ozzy Albies is able to listen to us. Ozzy, how you doing down there? What are you guys doing? We're doing good. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, I, I, I don't care where you are. You're always smiling. <laughs> always got a smile and have fun in the game. Absolutely. On the outside corner, one ball and one strike. Well, uh, what do you think about the second half? I know you're going to miss your buddy and one of the best players in the game and Ronald Acuna Jr., but how do you size up what could happen in the second half for the Atlanta Braves? Yeah, we're going to miss him. He's, a, he's, a, he's our superstar, and he's the guy that... He sets the table for us. He seems to get some base. It's gonna something fun is gonna happen. He's gonna make us score runs, everything. So we're gonna miss him for sure. But right now, we, with the team we have, we just gotta keep battle, don't give up, and go hard every day to get wins. I was uh, told you were going to. I don't know if you did. Did you wear his jersey out there earlier today? Yes, yes, I have this jersey. But then uh, he told me to let all the guys sign it for him. So I'm gonna bring it back to him. That's what he wanted. Ball and two strikes on Joey Gallo, power hitter for the Rangers. One out, nobody on, and that is down and in. Two balls, two strikes. I, I would imagine you guys, you and Freddie, have to not try to do too much, though, without Acuna. You can only do what you can do. Yes, we, we're going to stay in our game plan and just do what we can do to help our team win. That's what we're going to do right now. 2-2 two -two pitch is down. How's this field? You know, we always talk about how big the outfield is here in Denver, but how's that infield down there? The infield is great. I like it. I like the grass, the dirt. I mean, when you come here, everybody knows about fly, so trying to do too much, but just stay in, in the plan, and I mean, you hit it good, the ball's going to go. Three and two, the count, and a one-out walk as Gallo is aboard. difficult is it Ozzy as we're going to get Reggie Smith coming out and he may be there to make the pitching change yeah it's amazing he had the conversation with me about switch hitting he took his time dedicated his time to me it was really amazing by him appreciate what he did for me that's great great switch hitter and Reggie Smith. Smith Melanson is gone Hey, Ozzy, one more question before we go. I know you want to turn a double play here and end the inning. How, how, how tough is it to work with a new shortstop here in a short amount of time? In this case, it's Trey Turner to your right. I mean, he's an he's a awesome guy, fun guy. And, I mean, we're just having fun out here. So it's not that much to do today. Just enjoy it, you know? I'm going to go out here and we talk. No signs today, no card playing shift, nothing. Just enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's no signs. You're not, are you, nothing. are you doing the who's covering thing or any of that? Yeah, we did that. That's about it. I mean, that's part of the game that you should do every every pitch, every every other hitter, you know? Right. Here's Whit Merrifield with his second at bat. That's off the end of the bat. The play, boy. Second base by Cronenworth. Good work. Good throw. And it's first and third, two down. That was a good play, Ozzy. Yeah, it was. I didn't thought he was coming to second, but he did. I was terrified. <laughs> I was really scared. <laughs> the same, I thought he was going, just going to the bat. Exactly. We just heard Trey Turner say, I was terrified. <laughs> exactly. Same with me. I didn't thought he was coming to second base. That's an awesome play. Well, that was aggressive by Cronenworth at first base. Good play. 
First and third, Please, two thank out. You. And the batter is Zunino, who homered in his previous at bat. Well, one outside from Reyes. Thank you. You made the umpire move. He, <laughs> I mean, I I'll, I'll always talk, talk fun stuff with him, and we always going about the card and the shift and all that, so he always give me a hard time about it. It's Chris ah. Cuccioni, the second yeah, base awesome umpire. Guy. Awesome guy. Chris, they told me that I made you move. He's, he has no idea that you can talk to me. <laughs> Probably not. 1-1 one, one pitch. Hey, before this inning ends. They're listening to you. They're listening to you up there. I got the mic on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. It's nice to remind people around you that you have a live mic on your chest. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> one, two pitch. Last strikeout. Hey, Ozzy. Have a great second half, man. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. We're big fans of yours and the way you go about it. Good work by Alex Reyes. The outfield has to play deep, and Adoles Garcia took advantage, was hustling all the way. And that gives you, Nelson Cruz, a better RBI chance. That was a good good piece of work by Garcia, huh? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, he was staying uh, slow. Uh, Steps in the box, he's in an RBI situation. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, Nelson is sitting at 435 home runs. 500 not out of the question for a guy who just doesn't seem to slow down. Runner at second now, one out. Kimbrell, ground ball right side. To third is Garcia, two out. Look at you, Nelson, first pitch swinging. <laughs> Were you going up there, Nelson, swinging at the first pitch, no matter? No, I mean, um, I was looking for fastball, and he gave me that. I thought I hit it a little bit in front. I told him to throw harder so I could hit it better. <laughs> hey, thanks, Nelson. Have a great second half. <laughs> Hi! I didn't get booed. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get booed. I'm gonna hug. I love you so much, and I love your husband so much. I'm really, really so meaningful. Oh. oh my God! How does that happen? Liam is wearing a microphone. Two two from Hendricks. Struck him out. Zunino floats it down to first two away. And Albies is the last chance for the National League. No sticker. And Liam wants that souvenir. Shake two. So two. Going over the signs with Zunino. This is what the people want. You're mic'd up. No, it's not working. Oh, really? I haven't heard a thing about it. What do you want to do? Uh, chase two, shake the same. Okay. Well, the mic's working, the earpiece isn't. <laughs> and how about Zunino knowing what's up, saying give the people what they want as they go over the signs with a runner at second base. Trey Turner's got power. You see the average. The stolen bases, he does it all. 19 steals on the year, he can fly. Brown ball should end it. To the right side, Merrifield has got it. And the American League has won their eighth straight as they win it here tonight.